So I'm going to read this citation. I need to explain just very briefly that the Dean's Award is typically only given once a year, but I have once before made an exception and given an award out of sequence. And I'm giving a second award tonight out of sequence, and I'm doing something that has never been done to my knowledge, giving it to someone who doesn't actually have a degree from the institution. But you will all quickly agree with me, fully deserves this. A Chicago native, a Connecticut College in Rhode Island School of Design graduate, you arrived at YDS a decade ago to lead alumni relations and annual giving. You immediately saw changes to make. You led the effort to enhance the experience of convocation and reunions. You invited more faculty involvement into it with more lecture opportunities, more panel discussions. You organized special tributes to reunion classes and alumni award winners. You were just getting started. You saw ways to improve financial giving to the school and as a result, the annual fund has grown by more than 35% on your watch. <laughs> on, on another front, you managed the many moving parts of planning the YDS series of public forums in cities around the country, forums on gun violence, immigration, climate change, and other urgent national themes. Similarly, you made sure YDS was memorably present at AAR SBL, making the annual school reception a very special event. You brought remarkable skills to each task, an artist's eye for big picture designs and the details of execution, a tireless sense of accountability and competence in getting the work done. Meanwhile, every day, while all this was always happening, you were on the phone with alums. They called you every day to tell you personal news or to let you know about their new book or vocational turn or offered advice about a future conference or discreetly raised objections about this or that, at least mainly discreetly, <laughs> or called just to chat because they're gratified to connect with their beloved school through such an empathetic representative who's there for them. Day to day, like no one else, you've taken the pulse of the world of YDS alumni, a legion of 7,650 people. Your professionalism, your modesty, and gracious consideration of others has endeared you to everyone. For all you've done for this school, its mission, and its graduates, we are delighted to recognize you with the Dean's Award for Outstanding Service to Gail Briggs. so much. I am completely overwhelmed. It is just such a moment for me. Um, it is, first of all, so hard for me to believe that I'm at this point in my career where I'm actually saying so long. I won't say goodbye. But uh, it is fitting in many respects for me to wrap up this week because, quite honestly, I, I arrived in the summer of 2010 and my first convocation was, uh, interestingly enough, it featured a celebration of YDS women. And many of the celebrants and the planners are in this room tonight. And it, we were celebrating eight decades of women. And so it's a, a, kind of a symmetrical bookend to my career to be wrapping up with this convocation and our celebration of YDS women once again. The years have, you'll appreciate that the years have gone so quickly and I have been privileged to meet so many alums and members of this 
greater family. And um, the thing that uh, is a common thread in all of the encounters and conversations is that I am often, uh, I'm often hearing reference to this place. I heard it a couple of times tonight, this place. And so many alums have said to me that this place has a hold on them and that it has continues to shape who they are. And I have to say that on a personal note, I've come to understand that sensibility of this place because it, um, I know that it has shaped me and I know that it will continue to shape me when I leave. And I'm just so grateful for the work that we have done together and I'm going to be watching in the days and weeks and months and beyond all the uh, important, all of the just transformative work, the important work that is so desperately needed that is happening here. And so um, I just want to say thank you for this week, this night, and also just this incredible decade. So thank you. Mm -hmm.